Um, so have a pair, I have a uh, five pounds to 10 pounds side by my side. What we are doing today are 10 moves, but we are going to repeat each move three times before we move on to the next move. And each time we do it, we're gonna add something to it. So let's get after 2022. Elena, that outfit is freaking amazing. Oh my. Are you kidding me? Hello. Are you look like a new year's party. Girl, I want that. That is amazing. We all need to look like that next week. Yeah. Oh my God, I love it. All right, let's have a good workout. Um, and that's it. Your music, your towel, weights, and that's it. Oh my God, that, that outfit is actually inspiring me to move. Let's take, squeeze your butt cheeks, shoulders down your back. Let's move together. I'm so happy to move with you guys, finally. Big deep breath in. And again, I started my music at the clock. One more time. Big walk up. Good. These are arm circles back. Squeeze your booty and forward. Nice. Open your legs just a little and open up that chest. Open it up and squeeze. Oh my gosh, my back just cried. Okay, big hips, big hips, big hips, big hips. Oh my God. <laughs> that is everything right there. And other way. I reversed it and didn't say it. Good job, one more time, reverse. Give me one this way and then reverse it the other way. Beautiful, big leg, let's open. Oh. Oh my goodness, my whole body's like, Ugh. I was, I did not, I was like, I'm taking the week off. Good, and reverse. Whichever way I was doing it, do the opposite. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do it, change it again. In to out, in and over. One more each side. Nice, and just give yourself a quick quad stretch. Release. Who do we have? Is that my girl, Shayna? Hey, girl. <laughs> Take a moment to look at Elena's amazingness, okay? <laughs> Quad stretch is going. Beautiful step out, lunge and reach. Other side, lunge and reach. Other side. <sighs> lunge and reach. One more each side. Here's your last one right here. Take it right to center and just give me 10 squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Shannon, we have 10 moves today and we're going to repeat nine, let me get 10. Give me a little jog. I said no jumping, but you can shuffle. You can walk if you want. Little jog for 30 seconds, get that heart rate up. So your first move. So we have 10 moves. We are staying on one move for three reps. We are, uh, we're gonna up it each time we do it. Then we're done with that move for the rest of the workout. So your first move is to walk out and do a high plank. Keep jogging. Second move, I'll tell you when we get there. Just shuffle around, get that blood moving. Okay, here we go. Walk out to high plank. Hit high plank, come back up. That's it, walk out and back. When you hit that high plank, give yourself a pause for a hot second. Hands are under the shoulders. Elbows, wrists, hands lined up. Elbows, wrists, shoulders lined up. Head does not drop. Isolate those hips and squeeze the booty. Good job. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas, New Year's. 
everything. You got three, two, one. We are doing that walk out again. When we get down into that high plank, you are holding it, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. If that is too much, put your knees on the ground, that high plank and try it there. That's still like, yeah, just take one hand off the ground, one hand off the ground. Here we go, walk it out. Hit that high plank, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, walk it back. Again, you can put your knees on the ground and hit that shoulder tap there. Also, we took all our Christmas decorations down and now I'm like, oh my God, we need to decorate this damn house. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Good job, keep going. Almost there. You're gonna be like, don't worry, there's no more walkouts after. We have one more round. Two, one. This time, you're doing a shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, knee tap, knee tap, actually alternating knee tap, okay? High plank it out, tap your shoulders, tap your knees. Here we go, three, two, one, walk it out. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, knee to hand, alternate knee to hand, opposite knee and hand. So left hand, right knee, walk it out. Walk it, foot. <laughs> walk it out, shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. Shoulder, shoulder. So, and if any move is like, ah, eh, becomes too progressed, then you go to our last move. So that would be just shoulder tap. Make sure that core is engaged. Three, two, we can get that last rep in there. One, we're done with that high plank. We're done. So now we're moving on to good mornings. Have one weight close by, it'll come into the last round. So remember the good morning, your feet are hip width apart and you're bending over, pressing to the ground to come up. That's our first move, let's go. So your shoulders are down or back, your are back. Your navel is the spine. You're actively pressing into the ground. Your fingers can be relaxed, but your shoulders are active. Oh, and I want you to get your mind into those muscles along the back side of your body, from your booty down to your feet. Good job. Navel to spine. Press that ground away. Make sure your core is knit together and engaged. You've got, give me one more rep right here. Beautiful. These are minute rounds, by the way. Okay. All right. So, next good morning version variation is you are in good morning. You hit a squat, you press back to come up and you come out of that squat. You got five seconds. I definitely indulged a little over this break. My pants were like rolling. Okay, here we go. Good morning. Squat and up. Good morning. Squat, press the ground away and up. You gotta think this one through. Bend knees, press up, torso up. Bend knees up. Up. Squeeze that booty. I want an active back and a beautiful, constant breath. Ooh. 
Good job, everybody. Keep going, keep going. Bed, squat, straighten, up. <laughs> Time. Now you pull weight in. You're putting it across your chest. So you have that baby up high. You are crossing it, okay? If you wanted to back load, you could back load. You could put two weights up on your shoulders. I prefer the front load here. Here we go. Feet are hip width apart. And we good morning. Squat. Press up, up. Good morning. Squat. Press into the ground to come up. Squeeze that butt. Good morning. Squat. Press up. Good morning. Good job, keep going. Yeah, less than 15 seconds. And then no more good mornings. <sighs> Two, one. Good mornings are done. Keep a one way close by. We're gonna use it again in the last round. Um, we're going down to push-ups. So you could do the push-ups on the wall. You could do push-ups on your knees. It's up to you. I like wall better than knees. I'm gonna take you down to the ground. Just, that's it, just push-ups. Here we go. So just old fashioned push-ups and I mean it, hit the wall. You hit that range of motion, keep that plank or you can have your knees on the ground. Totally fine. Old fashioned push ups. I want a strong core. Oh. And a minute is a long time to be in push up mode, but you can do it. Will you do you? Three, two, one. You have, we're gonna do push-ups again. We're here for two more rounds of push-ups. So what happens in this round is a rotation. So you hit the push-up and you come over and reach and then rotate to the other side. You can absolutely have your knees on the ground. So it would look like this. Okay, hit it with me. And then rotate each side. Make sure you're breathing and at any time you change up, you modify, okay? You can go to the wall, you can go up on an incline, on a table, on a chair. Keep going. Two, one. One more round of push ups. This time your weight is involved. When you do that high plank rotation, you're gonna pull that weight across your chest. So I'm gonna have my weight right in the middle. You still have five seconds. And you're gonna, as you rotate, you pull it up and across and up. Here we go. Carefully put it up. You can look at it while you're doing it. Help stabilize it. And you. Good job. More than halfway there. Mm. 
You got this. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Done with the push ups, thank God. Okay. We are standing up for a curl. So have your weights. If you don't have weights, you have a towel and you're pulling it across your body. But we have, oh God, that goes by so quick. So stand and curl. You are just standing and curling. So we just worked our chest, chest and triceps. Now we're working our biceps. Get your breathing out. Get your breathing steady <laughs> or out. <sighs> Good job. I'm starting head with my heaviest that I have out here today, and then I'm gonna go down for the next round. Breathe. Good job, everybody. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Way to keep those elbows in tight. Time. Your next one. Oh, actually, no, we're going to have both. I will switch it out. You're going to isolate one arm. You are going to either come up to balance or you have your toe on the ground. Okay. And you're going to do one side. I'm switching down. You have three, two, one. So that stationary leg. The one that's planted into the ground has that arm in the same, is also not moving, it's isometric hold. If you need to stare at something for that balance, that's not moving. Good job, breathe and curl. Holding that balance. You got this. Get that core involved. Shoulders are down your back. Proud chest. Keep going. If you need to drop the weights and keep going, then do that. Good job, good job, good job. Three, last rep. Beautiful. I'm gonna put my weights up for a hot second. So Angie got me this like charcoal sweat cloth that's supposed to like exfoliate. So I might not have any face left after. Because <laughs> you know how much I sweat. All right, going into the other side. Five step curl. Isometric hold. And a balance. You play with that balance. You meet your balance where it is. Constant work in progress. You got this. Feel the burn. More than halfway there. <sighs> Under ten. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> yes, time. Damn. Let me exfoliate for a second. Hold on. All right. We are at the dead bug version of this program. So get on your back. Have one lightweight close by. We'll use it in the second time through. First time through, dead bug me. Just dead bug me. Here we go. On your back, legs and tabletop. Back into the mat, arms up. Opposite leg extends, opposite arm, bring it back. Try and keep those knees directly above your hip.
Beautiful. Good job, keep going, good job. Yes. Look at those hands, because I don't want your hands, I want one hand to go back, the other one stays straight up. Look at it so it doesn't move, the one that stays straight up. Press that lower back into the mat. Time. Now you have one weight. I'm, I have a five pound weight. So you're still up in tabletop, you're still up in dead bug. Now what I want is that same side, same leg, same arm. You extend and bring it back. We're gonna do that for an entire minute, okay? Here we go. One side. Lower back in the mat. You need to actively press that in because it will come up. <laughs> same arm, same leg. <sighs> Energy out every foot, every hand you have. <laughs> Maybe you have more than two. Keep going. Nice, secular breath. You are at 10 seconds. No jumping today, time, time. And now you're gonna go on to, the, we're gonna switch it to the other side. Let me see what I do. You're switching it to the other side. Ooh. So get yourself ready, you have five, you have three, and go. Slow and control. Good job, good job, good job. Keep going. Pressing that lower back into the mat. Active, make it active. You're gonna feel it immediately as you press it into the ground, how much more work that is. That's what you want. Because you can kind of just chill out in this position. It's very easy to do. <sighs> You have three, two, beautiful. We are staying on the ground. We are going into a low plank. So I'm gonna have a sip of water. I have a sip of water. I hope your 2022 has been magical already. Okay, low plank it is. Let's get those elbows underneath your shoulders. You could even start in a like your belly's on the ground. And then you bring your knees, your butt up. And then you can bring your knees up. So hang out here. We're gonna hang out here for 30. Oh, I can't see my clock. I'm gonna hang out here for like half of this minute. Keep that head neutral. Keep those elbows underneath your shoulders. Beautiful. Now I want you to reach with your hand right in front of you. One hand, stabilizing your hips the entire time. <sighs> Keep that head neutral. You're pulling the ground apart with your arms. Keep that booty down. <sighs> time, beautiful. We're staying in low plank again. Give the shoulders a little bit of break. This time we are tapping out with our legs, okay? So your legs are tapping out. You could be on your knees, tap one leg out, on your knee, tap the other leg out. Get ready. Here we go. Control. So you could, again, you could be on your knees, straighten one leg up off the ground, tap it out, bring it back. Absolutely fine. 
Total body. So we've worked our arms, shoulders. This is core and shoulders. Keep going. Oh, baby. Time. One more round of low play. This time, we're going to combine those two. So we're going to reach with one hand out and tap the other leg at the same time. So if doing it at the same time is too much, you do it one at a time. So it would be tap, extend, or it's tap, tap your foot, tap your hand, tap your foot. But most important thing here is keeping those hips isolated and stable, as stable as you possibly can. Good job, good job. Keep going, you're under 10. Time, no more planks. Well, no more low plank. No more of that low plank. <laughs> Let me look at my notes. We are squatting. Get your arses up off the ground. You have a regular old squat. That's it. Let's go. Regular old squat, the basics. My feet are just a little wider than shoulder width apart. Send that booty back. Shoulders down your back. You can reach for me. You can totally reach for me. Keep your shoulders down while you do that. I want you making sure your knees track right over your toes. If they're coming in, come a little closer, press them out. You won't go as deep into your squat, but that's okay. Knees forward, knees forward, knees forward. Shoulders down your back. I feel so calm this morning. Time, now we front load or front or rack. Here's my last one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're racking your weights this time. I'm resting on your shoulders. And here we go. Good job, good job, good job. Keep that chest up, squeeze that booty at the top. You're not really pushing your pelvis forward, you're just giving your butt cheeks a squeeze. Make sure you're breathing, especially as you press that ground away. Keep that chest up. Under 10 seconds. You got this. Time, beautiful. You're gonna keep your two weight. I'm going down slightly in weight just cause we're doing a reverse grip press. So you're gonna press it up when you come out of your squat. So you're front loaded. And you're gonna squat, squat, come up from your squat, press. It's not a straight up press. 
It's slightly in front of you. Really squeeze your butt, get your core involved, and keep those shoulders away from your ears. It's almost imitating a pull up, okay? That is exactly what this move is imitating. Reverse pull up. Imagine as you're pulling those weights towards you, you're pulling your body up. Pull ups really an awesome thing and really hard. Good job, everybody. Press and pull up. Imitate that pull up. Time, I'm finishing that pull up. Ooh, yes, pull ups in the new year. All right, we got lateral lunges, no weight. So what you're gonna do, we did it in warm up. You are lateral lunging, come up to center. Lateral lunging, come up to center. Join me. Big step, come up to center. We're in the leg portion of this workout. Legs and booty. Get some arms in there. We're gonna put arms back in. Next round. Good job, keep going, you're almost there. We're almost done with the workout, actually. Keep going. Send that booty back, keep that chest proud. Pressing that ground away. Beautiful. You're getting one weight. We're staying on one side. So you are going to lunge. You're going to row. You're pressing up to a balance. Back down. Lunge. Balance. That's your move. Let's hit it. One side. You step wide. You are in that lunge. You row. Up to balance. Back up. Use your other arm to help you stabilize. In that row, it's like you're starting a lawnmower. Press that ground away. Keep those shoulders down your back so you're not rounding. I don't want any rounding over. I want strong. You got this. Time. We're switching to the other hand. And switching to the other leg, really. You got 10 seconds, 10 set. Three, two, one. Big step, row, and balance. Good job. Yes. Press off the ground with that foot. I don't know that I've ever actually really started a lawnmower like this, but in my head, that's what we're doing. Time. Put that baby down. We have front forward lunges. You can walk them if you want. I have to exfoliate. 
No, look amazing. Okay, so just we're walking. Drop the weights. That's it. You, if you do not have the room to move, you just stationary front row, forward lunge. Beautiful. Keep going. More than halfway. I lied. You're actually just halfway. I'm going to let lie less in 2022. <laughs> Mostly to you. You have those muscles, really. Like, put your hands on your legs. Man, you got some muscles. Good job. You're almost there. I'm not lying. Time. Time. Now we're bringing the weights in. Now you bring your weights in. Two weights. Walking lunge, weight at walk and lunge. Shoulders down your back, and we're just walking around in a lunge. Beautiful. Oh, I'm not in the screen. Good job, everybody. Breathe, press that ground away. Keep going, you got 10 seconds. Yes, keep going, time, time, time. Put your weights down for a hot second. You're picking up one weight. You're holding it above your head. Five. I want forward lunge. So I had both dumbbells. I want, give me a forward, step it back, forward, step it back, rear lunge, rear. Shoulders are down your back. So forward, forward, rear, rear. Press those arms up. Don't let them just hang out there. I want them energized. Squeeze that booty. Good job, good job, good job. Time, time. You're your last move. We've got three moves left. We are ending with three rounds of man makers. Okay, so you're, I'm gonna leave my thingy right there. We are going to do a high plank. Join me. Then you row one side, you row the other side. You give me a push up. You walk your feet in. You take those weights, you curl and you press. Okay? Weights go back on the ground. Walk those legs out. Row. Row, you put the knees on the ground, push up, hop or walk those legs in. I promise no jumping, so I'm walking. Curl and press. You hit a row, you hit a row, you hit a push up. You bring those legs in, you curl, you press. Row, time, time, 
two more times of that. I know it's the same move, but it's a beast. And that's where we're gonna end, on a high beast mode row. So two more times. Row, row, push up, legs in, curl, press. Here we go. Here you go. You can have your hands on your weights or on the ground, it's up to you. Row, row. Oh, hit that push up. Legs walk in. You are in a low squat. You curl, you press into the ground to come up. Then you press your arms up into a press. Row, row, push up. Yeah, I did push ups. More than once in this workout. Row, row, push up. Feet come in, low squat, isolation curl, press the ground in to come up, press those weights up. Row, row, time, time. You guys have one more round of that. That's it. You got under 10. Yes, that is really gonna be it. Here we go, in three, in two. Here we go, row, row. Nail that push up. Walk those legs in. Hit that isolation curl up to a shoulder press. And it's not crazy speed. I want perfect form. And breathing. Row, keep that head neutral. Beautiful, you're under 10. Give me one more solid rep in. So you have your rows, you have your push up, you have your walk in, slow squat, isolation curl, up, press, done. Done, done, done. Let's cool this baby off, okay? You guys did 30 moves. Let's go. Take a big deep breath. Bring those shoulders down back. Give me one more. Right here, bring that arm across. We did so much shoulder. Look over. Beautiful. Release. Other arm. Make sure that shoulders pack down your back. Give some wrist love. Good job. Bring that arm up. Reach down your back. Good. Other side. Oh my goodness. Hold it for three, two, one. Release, bring those arms back behind you. Connect them to really open that chest up, head up. Try and lift your arms a little. Good job, release, 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 release. Arms come up above your head. Take a swan dive down and hang here. Let your head drop, shake it, no. Seriously, no bullshit in 2022. No bullshit. Be real, be real with yourself. And yes. Beautiful, I want you to walk out into a down dog. So right here, send that booty up. Oh, press your heels into the ground. Find that length in your spine. Pump those legs. So you're taking one heel off the ground and the other. Beautiful. Come into high plank and bring one foot forward. You can have that back knee on the ground, totally fine. That hand that's next to that foot up here, bring it up to the ceiling. 
Reach up, pressing into the ground with the hand that's on the ground. Bring that hand back and try and get a little closer to the ground, elbow to the ground. I, I can't get my elbow to the ground, but that's what you're trying to do. Beautiful, hand to the ground, foot comes back, other foot comes forward. Again, you can have that back foot on the, a back knee on the ground, totally fine. Press into the ground, hand next to foot, comes up, reach up to the ceiling, chest is open. Now let the good in. Beautiful, bring that elbow back. Close to the ground. Hand goes back to the ground, foot goes back. We go back up into down dog, downward facing dog. Oh my goodness. And then walk your feet and hands together. And roll it up, slow. Oh, slow. Shoulders down your back. That's 